So this is a clear indication of anything that there are some unscrupulous robbing bastards in the military section on eBay. But it also goes to show there are some completely gullible idiots on eBay as well. US Army World War II 82nd Airborne Division Charles N. D. Glopper Soldier Helmet £37 one bid from our faker in Glasgow. Now you look at it and you think, look at that. Immediately raises suspicion in that that's not a US helmet chin strap. So you go into the pictures and you go, well, that's a suspicious looking chin strap. And then you have a look at it again and then you go, something doesn't look right about that. And what it actually is, it's a post World War II early 1950s West German Army helmet modelled on the American M1 helmet. Now surely the guy that's put a bid on that has researched it and he must know that isn't a World War II American helmet. Furthermore it's got the fake the fake inscription in it Private Charles N. De Glopper 25th Glider Infantry, 82nd Airborne Division. I, I, it, it always constantly amazes me at the fake rubbish that's being offered on eBay and people are actually bidding on it. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a total joke. Let's see what he says about it. Soldier Helmet, 82nd Airborne Division. So let's see what other shit this guy's got to rip off the public. A British Antarctic Expedition Nimrod, Ernest Shackleton Leather Case. Let's see what else he's got. He's got a Heinrich Erler 1942 Brass Medium Bomber Aircraft on stand, a Luftwaffe gift, £38, and there's one bid on it. Now the problem is, this World War II Luftwaffe bomber is actually a Beaufort bomber. So there's every possibility that is a genuine piece of World War II trench art that this guy has fake etched onto the wing a spurious name. You see, he's actually fake etched a spurious name on it. So, idiots in the money, very easily parted. Bye for now.